David and Hannah got stranded on a tiny, uninhabited island. They had no radio or cell phones, so they couldn't call for help. There were no trees on the island, so they couldn't even make a smoke signal. Suddenly, Hannah noticed a plane circling the sky, searching for them. But it was flying too high. There was no way the pilot could see them. That's when she got a bright idea. Soon after, the plane spotted them and picked them up. What was Hannah's idea? She used rocks to spell out SOS on the sand. Jessica was walking through the dark woods. Suddenly, she saw a castle, probably belonged to a witch or something. She was pretty curious and wanted to snoop around, but the door was locked. There was a note with a secret code attached to the gate, but she still needed to decipher it. If you want to enter my castle, crack this code. Hmm, can you crack this code? The answer is which. Two stars after wing means you need to get rid of the last two letters. Same goes for the word T. For the word chair, you need to cut off the last three letters. See? You lose your friends in a crowd. You spend half an hour looking for them. And finally, here they are. What is the first thing you do as soon as you see them? You stop searching. So check this out. Three men are sitting around a table drinking coffee. They all look alike, but only two of them are brothers. The third one just doesn't belong at all because he's an alien. Who is it? It's the man sitting on the right. He's got 12 fingers. Yeah, the one sitting in the center has some weird ears, but look at the family portrait on the wall. His dad has the very same ears. Maria lives in Paris, and once every two weeks she goes to Saint-Tropez to see her grandmother. She bought a ticket from the machine, finished her coffee, and headed to the train. But this weekend, something went wrong. She didn't make it to Saint-Tropez. Why not? She bought the wrong ticket. It says Saint-Tropez, Paris, but she needed Paris Saint-Tropez. When she tried to get on the train, the conductor immediately told her she had the wrong ticket, and she just didn't have enough time to change it. Emma's a big fan of all things pink. She lives in a one-story pink house. She has a pink cat, a pink dog, a pink hamster, pink walls, pink doors, and even a pink fridge. What color are her stairs? She doesn't have stairs. She lives in a one-story house. But that house sure gets a lot of stairs from the neighbors. Mark got to take part in a TV show where he had to answer some tough questions. He was doing really great and managed to answer 14 out of 15 questions. He was real nervous. Only one more question and he'd hit the grand prize. One million dollars. What is as large as an elephant but doesn't even weigh an ounce? Mark shouted out an answer, and now he's a millionaire. What was his guess? It's shadow. It's as large as an elephant, but it's weightless. Uh-oh, Brandon has missed too many lectures, and now the guy has problems with his professor. The man agrees to give the student a chance to redeem himself, but only if he fulfills a task the professor has for him. I'll give you one glass of milk and one glass of water. You'll need to pour the two liquids into a bowl. But you should be able to separate the milk from the water later. You can't use any kind of dividers. Brandon spent several hours mulling over the problem, but he was desperate enough to crack this riddle. What did he do?
He poured all the water into a bowl and froze it. After that, he added the milk. Two cars, silver and white, are moving along the same highway. The silver car is traveling at a speed that's twice higher than that of the white car. They both started at the same time. And still, after some time on the road, the two cars come across each other. How is it possible? The cars were moving toward each other. When do you keep moving when you see red, but stop once it's green? It always happens when you're eating a watermelon. Anna asked her colleague Daniel to give her a lift to the college where her daughter studied. She promised the girl to take her shopping that day. On their way there, Anna got an idea. How about a bet? I'll prepare one of your reports for you if you manage to figure out which girl is my daughter. Daniel was up for the challenge. When they arrived at the college, they saw three girls waiting at the gates. Daniel was confused. They all look similar. Can you figure out who Anna's daughter is? It's the girl on the left. Anna has the letter L tattooed on her wrist, and the girl is wearing a bracelet with the same letter. One night, a group of thieves was stealing boxes with electronics from a warehouse. They were carrying them to their van when they heard a police car siren. But even though the thieves didn't manage to avoid the police, they didn't get arrested. Why? They started to carry the boxes back to the warehouse, and the police thought it was a late-night delivery. Ooh, that's kind of smart. Who is the only brother-in-law of your mother's brother? That's your father. John and Michael are car mechanics. After finishing a tricky repair, they get out from under the car. John's face is all dirty, but Michael's face is miraculously clean. And still, it's Michael who goes and washes his face. Why? Michael looked at his colleague and thought his face was dirty too. But when John saw Michael, whose face was spotless, he concluded he was just as clean. A teenager is walking along the street together with a car mechanic. The guy is the mechanic's son, but the mechanic isn't the boy's father. How is it possible? The car mechanic is the guy's mother. One morning, Melissa saw that some money was missing from the wallet she had left on the table the night before. Her husband was on a business trip, so it must have been one of her sons who took the cash. Jason, who was 17, 15-year-old Jacob, or her youngest son, Andrew, he was 13. Melissa asked her sons what they had been doing the previous evening. Jason said, I felt unwell and had a headache. After dinner, I took a painkiller and went to bed right away. Jacob told his mom, My friend Eric stayed for dinner. After that, I gave him a lift home. And Andrew reminded Melissa he had had his basketball training. The woman immediately understood who had taken the money. Can you figure it out as well? Jacob was lying. He was only 15 years old and couldn't drive, legally. Three turtles are walking one behind the other. The first one says, there are two turtles behind me. The second one says, there's one turtle behind me and another one right in front of me. The third one says, there are two turtles in front of me and one more right behind me. Now, how's that possible?
Well, they're walking in a circle, very slowly. 